Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make your laptop's Wi-Fi signal faster on your Windows computer. So this should be a pretty quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. And you want to type in control panel. And best match it comes up should say control panel right above desktop app. So you want to left click on that one time to open it up. And on the view by area on the side here, you want to make sure it's set to category view. And then you want to left click on network and internet right here. Now you want to left click on network and sharing center. And now whatever connection type you have over here, whether it be Wi-Fi or Ethernet, there should be a hyperlink right underneath. You want to click on that one time to open it up. And now that you've done that, you want to click on this properties button underneath activity. So left click on that properties button again. And once you have done that, you want to click on this configure button right here. And now you want to go underneath power management on the right side. You want to make sure that this is not checked where it says allow this computer to turn off this device to save power. Make sure that is not turned off. And now you want to go over to the Advanced tab. And you want to scroll down until you get to Roaming Aggressiveness. If you have one here, in my case I do not, but if you did, again Roaming Aggressiveness. And if you had one here, you want to set the value to Enabled. And you might have an option to set a value from 1 to 5. I recommend you set it to 1. Now you want to go down to get to Thoughtful Throughput Booster and you want to disable that value on the right side here. And there might be something that says fat channel intolerant. If you, again, if you see anything that says fat channel intolerant, you'd want to select that to the enabled position. And then once you've made those changes, you want to click on OK. And then hopefully at this point, your internet speed has improved a little bit. Again, I would imagine most of you guys do have some of those if you go underneath properties here. And then you went underneath advanced, there should be some there for you guys to mess with. So I would recommend that you back up your computer before you do any of this stuff, create a system restore point. But this stuff isn't really harmful. Just take note of what you're changing the value from and what you're changing it to. And then, like I said, what you do with the power management, you want to uncheck that as well. So a few things in here and then a couple things in power management. And then hopefully that should speed up your internet a little bit. So I do appreciate you guys watching this tutorial. I hope it helped you out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.